Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are, we have a full day today. That closet. What? Oh, well. We have freezing temperatures all of a sudden today. And I think that's the case across a lot of the West Coast. Um, I was just reading today that the potato farmers are having to pull their crops early. Along with, I'll do it, I'll do it. Um, because of the freezing temps. They're not ready to have their crops come up yet. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna head out to the bus stop today. I have an ortho appointment and a whole day. I'm not sure if Jason's gonna stay home today or not. Um, he's waiting to find out if one of our employees is sick again. And then we're dividing and conquering instead of being together <laughs> if he gets to stay home. So I have an ortho appointment this morning. Um, I kind of have lost faith on <laughs> the process that we've been doing. Um, you are not gonna be warm enough in that. That's not a coat. You gotta put your full coat on. Take that off really quick. No. No. Okay, instead of the green one? Yeah. Okay, get your coat. Um, wow, kind of lost faith in their process. So I will get you updated on what they wanna do as soon as they go to the ortho. I'm ready ahead of time because I have enough time to drink a drink, not like alcohol. Drink a breakfast drink after I take them to the bus stop um, and then I have to go straight to the ortho. So I get to wear my new coat today because it's actually cold enough. Should we take the tags off? Yeah, to wear a coat and Kind of match Jason because we got our coats at the same place, right, Jace? Yeah, no, Eddie Bauer's got some really good jackets and stuff. Great yeah. value for the price and everything. Yeah, good quality. Got it. Okay, so we're gonna head out to the bus stop. Ashley, you want to say good morning? She's Hi. rushed. We're okay. Hi. Wasn't that just the first alarm? Chelsea's hair real quick. She has, what do you have, PE today, Chelsea? Yeah, that's why I wanted off my neck. There's like a million things in there and there's 23 yes. kids in there. Yes, there is. You just get hot? Yeah. And why do you like buns? Oh, they're just off my neck. Yeah, they're off your neck, but who last year did buns that you like to have buns for? Kelly? No, your teacher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, let's do... I don't think that elastic is going to stay in, though. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Ashley, go get me two more. This little thing isn't going to last in your hair. Okay. Makeshift bun. You're going to pull it out. When do you have PE? Um, like, right after lunch. Keep the hairband on your wrist. Yeah, she's going to take it out really quick Why after not? PE. Um, I want to capture my emotion right now. Um... For the person who might see this, and you know who you are. I just had someone offer um, to fly my family down to my sister's wedding <laughs> so that we don't have to make the drive. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I haven't made any of the arrangements. I don't have a car once we get there. I have to rely on someone else for that. And I know that we can make it work. Um, I just am wanting to show my emotion and my gratitude for this person because I won't be able to do it in any other public way. Um, I'll be able to privately thank them eventually, but um, I want them to see my gratitude. <laughs> Whether it works out or not, <coughs> It is so good in these days. And I know that I have a lot of people in my life that are great and they do great things. I just, it's so neat to see someone willing to do something like this for someone else. I gotta go check myself. I, <laughs> I gotta go to this dentist appointment. 
I even joked with this person. No, you know, I just put mascara on. <laughs> anyway, to this person, thank you. <clears throat> I gotta like get control of myself. <sighs> I love you. I'll see you in a minute, guys. All right, you guys, guess what? They're coming off. The braces are coming off. I'm like having the best day ever. Um, so they're in agreement with me. They looked at my teeth and compared them to the photo that they originally took in July. They have moved, like they have moved not an ounce. And the orthodontist, there's like three or four orthodontists that are in this office. And so I rarely see the one that owns the office. I think I met him like once or twice before. And one of those times was in July when we started this final process. And so for him to be there today and see the teeth and he's like, there's nothing else we can do. I, the only other option is surgery and to move them like centimeter, that's my choice. And he's like, but there's nothing else orthodontically that we can do for you. So we made a, an all inclusive decision to take them off and they have an appointment for me next Tuesday. So it's less than a week away. I'm so excited. And they're having their, um, what do you call it? Like their retainer maker. I don't know, they have a name for him, but they're having him come in house same day to make my retainer so that I have it same day and I don't have to come back in a week when I actually don't have time to come back because I'll be at the wedding. So they made all that arrangement because they're so excited for me. These ladies that work in the office are so fun and I've gotten to know them. <laughs> and one of them, I hope she watches this video and, or maybe I'll mention her again in my braces come off video. Um, cause she wants to start a channel and has a channel that she's done one video for. So I want to encourage her to go ahead and start a channel and get it going and just to take her time doing it. So that was a, a fun thing as well today. Oh, it's just such a good day and I hope it doesn't like go downhill from here because I'm just having such a good day and I'm so excited and even though my teeth aren't perfectly straight there's nothing they can do and I don't have to have any regrets um I'm just super excited <laughs> now I'm not even excited to go to Costco but that's where I have to go and yes we were at Costco yesterday but today I'm buying all of the not all of food I'm buying all the breakfast food for this retreat for church that I'm going to tomorrow so I wanted to make sure I had it fresh and um, on one receipt and just ready to go for tomorrow. So we're going to Costco, but I need to call Jason first. I'm gonna give him the good news. Oh, actually he's probably, oh bummer. He's probably on his conference call. Oh, he just got on it. Darn it, we'll have to call him later. So I found Jason down here. Well, he had the fire on, but it's bloody hot in here now. Guess what, Chase? Get my braces off on Tuesday. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I bet you're excited about that. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. That's cool. Yeah. I cut him off again. <laughs> that looked good. Thank you. Yeah. So I just, he's been on his call for a couple minutes since I've been home. So I've been just unloading. I actually put all my swim stuff away, <laughs> finally. Jason got a copy of this book. You need to read this by next week. So. I ended up getting, we're doing um, muffins and a yogurt bar for breakfast for our retreat the second morning, or the first morning, I guess. We're only spending one night there. So I went and got yogurt and fruit and granola and what else did I get? I think that's it. But um, I went to unload it all and put it in the fridge and start packing it for my retreat and realized I hadn't put away swim stuff and then I needed to get out a suitcase, not a suitcase, just a bag, and found shampoo and conditioner left over from the beach and pool. So I ended up like having to do a whole bunch of stuff. So now I'm gonna go pack for my retreat. It's basically pa pack some pajamas and an extra outfit for the morning because I'm just gonna get sweaty and whatever I'm wearing going into the retreat but um uh let's see oh sorry friend is inviting me to go to a girl's lunch so anyway i'm really excited for my braces to come off and go to this retreat everything is just working out really well but i'm gonna go and pack that stuff upstairs i'll take you with me 
And then, um, looks like Jason's not going to work, which is nice. Haven't got a call that our employees didn't show up. So, that's always a positive. <laughs> and then, I just have so much stuff to do around the house now. Um, let's see what else do I have to... Oh, I have this, um, so this lady in my church, she, um, she's 86. She's hilarious. Um, she <laughs> loves going to this retreat. It's like one of her favorite things to do, and I love to get to know her at this retreat. One of her favorite activities that I've done in the past is this escape room that my sister made years ago. Actually, I mean, I printed it out, but she created all of the clues. So now I need to, I haven't pulled it out in years, so I need to make sure that I have all the pieces and and whatnot for it. It's kind of last minute. So I'm gonna go through this, pack my bags, and then um, if we play this game, I need to get a treat. I didn't realize that when I was at Costco. Oh. We need to get a, like a reward uh, for the team that wins yeah, the escape room in case we play it. And then if we don't play it, then we just have extra oh, treats, I'm which is not a bad thing. So I'm gonna hang up here because he's on a call. Sure don't I'm interrupt. All right, you guys, I am, a lot of time has passed and I've had way too many emotional conversations <laughs> that anyone needs to have in one day. Let me open this slide up here a little bit. So I wanted to show you, if you are new to my channel, even in the past like two years, you probably haven't seen this. So I wanna show you this fun activity that I am doing for all the friends that I'm going with. Let me show you really quick. All right, so it's an escape room game. So I have these two big boxes here, A and B, and there are locks in each one of them. I am going to put a treat inside the box that they will win if they get it open. Really, they're both gonna have <laughs> a treat in it. And then when you close it, like I'll take the locks out, let me take one of them, and I'll close it, and then you lock it with this guy and then you lock each of these slots right here with all six of the locks. And then they have, that has my supplies. And then each of these bags has all the clues. Let me show you one of them. So like this one, it's like clues where they have to decode this. And then that leads them to another clue which will give them a code that will unlock the key. And then when they get all six keys open, then they'll get the treat in the box. So I actually take all of these, I gotta put this away or it's gonna get mixed up. So there's two teams. So I hide all of these clues all over the room. And for these guys, I'm not gonna tell them that I'm playing this game. Only a few people know. One, my friend that requested me that we play it again, kind of one of the other leaders that is in charge. Uh oh, I gotta put that key back in. Whoa, and does it go in? This one. Two, three, four, five, six, and down. Sorry, I had to kind of get it put away <laughs> so I don't. If I mix up all the clues, then it messes up the whole game. So basically, I had to take apart. <sighs> Let me get my breath. It's been like a long hour and a half. <laughs> um, I had to separate all the clues, almost solve half of them to make sure that they work. Um, one of them is like, I'll just tell you, the clue is, once they figure out the part of the clue, it's the calories add up. And <laughs> there's 14 and 15 items, what, you know, per team, 14 for one and 15 for the other. They're items of garbage. <laughs> and they, like a popcorn wrapper or a granola bar wrapper, a pasta box and they have circled on it like the calorie count per serving and they have to add up all those calories and that number if they get all the items will be the code number to open up the box open up that lock and so I have to go through and make sure that I have enough calories for the code that I've already assigned to the lock and I did that and I got clear to the end and everything else was fine and I realized I was 170 calories off. <laughs> the problem with doing this game in any kind of a public setting, or even here at home, I've done it here at home, it's garbage. 
And so when people were cleaning the game up the last time I did it, they probably threw away my 170 calorie item because <laughs> it was garbage. So I had to go through my pantry and find something. I actually found like a, um, I think it was a cliff bar and it was only worth 130 calories. And so I had to just write on there with a Sharpie, add 40. And I've done that on a few of them just so that we got to the right number. Anyway, so I had to do that and it's like kind of, um, you know, it's just aggravating. You kind of have to resolve all of these clues um, yourself. So anyway, so now I'm gonna go and kind of pack a bag. It's a little overkill for one night. I understand that. I'm not like a drama queen. I may not do my makeup, but I still wanna take like, you know, face wash, white makeup wipes, lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, pajamas, you know. Still does require me to take something, so. And tomorrow, I'm probably gonna leave around one. So, I have the fun run for the kids at school in the morning. That's why I'm kind of panicked to get it all done right now, because I don't think I have time tomorrow. And I have to leave in like, Sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm kind of going constant, nonstop right now. Um, I have to, right now, I have to, I have about an hour. And then I'm going to go and get Kaylee and Abby from school. Um, Kaylee has an ortho appointment. And then Abby has an ingrown toenail that has been ingrown for over a month. Like, she said it started hurting about a month into school. And I feel so bad for the girl. It's like super infected and we cannot get it to like, we've even poked it and like pushed as much of the pus out as we can. And we try to dig it out. Nothing is working. She does an Epsom salt bath like probably every other night. And I just feel really bad. Nothing is working. So she knows what's involved to get an ingrown toenail taken out at the doctor but when she gets to that point I know that she's done she really wants it done so I'm gonna take her to urgent care I'm not sure um, I'm trying to pick my socks I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna have if I can take her while Kaylee's at the ortho sorry <laughs> I turned the camera off <laughs> mid-sentence uh, it might turn into a really long night is what I'm worried about. So that was part of my reason to make sure Jason stayed home even though we're not actually getting to spend time together. I wanted to make sure he was gonna be here for the other two to get them after school and potentially get them dinner because there's a really good chance I won't be here. So I'm just going to gather up clothes. No, I don't want that one. Um, it's like I don't wanna take pajama pajamas to walk around in so I think I'll just do a t-shirt and sweatpants we just go up and we play games after we have dinner and it's just really fun so I gotta hurry and pack and then go get the girls you hear the I think you hear the catch in my voice yeah I'm like I'm antsy I'm rushed I'm emotional I'm Kinda got a lot going on today. Ups and lows, uh, highs and lows. I still have to figure out this whole flight versus driving scenario. Can't deal with that till tonight. My heart is like pounding. There's just a lot going on today. So I really hope at the end of the day, everything is resolved and it's a good scenario for everyone. All right, ignore my messy bed. I don't care about making it right now. I've got my, my makeup bag packed. I'm really not planning on doing my makeup. I just have three brushes here and like bare minimum makeup and then only like one palette right here. I don't know if I'm going to or not and I'll explain that in a second. But I do have like deodorant and I have stuff in this one that's the main one that I will use. You know, I've got deodorant and scrunchie and my elastics and then there's two melatonin in there. I actually should, oh, I have ibuprofen in my regular bag. And then my toothbrush, toothpaste, 
This is like a oh conditioner, shampoo and conditioner. I don't think I'll shower up there. That's just what's normally in my bag. And then some lotion and Q-tips. And some of this is just in here all the time. This is just two face wipes left over from my last trip. So that's kind of handy. Then I don't have to pack up my whole bag of face wipes. And then in here, I've just got my headphones and my earplugs set to pack, even though I'll probably use those tonight. And then I have all my clothes on this side. Again, it's like all comfy wear. Sweatpants, t-shirts, sweatshirts. A pair of jeans were in the morning the second day. And then I actually have sheets. I'm going to go down and wash these right now. Because I'm going to take my air mattress. <laughs> I'm kind of bougie that way. And... Oh, maybe I'll grab some more whites. Let's see if I have. I think I just did a load of whites. Ooh, there's some more. You're catching me in action here, folks. Oh, there's tons. Shoot. Oh, goodness sakes. <laughs> now I have to do more laundry. All right, so now I have a whole load of laundry. And go put that in. Because I'm taking the air mattress, I want a sheet to go on top of the air mat. And then I will probably just grab... Honestly, like one of the girls, like Disney blankets. <laughs> this lodge is really, really hot. They heat the place and you're not allowed to like mess with the temperature. And in the past, I've taken like sleeping bag or full like heavy, heavy, heavy blanket. And I die of heat. The rooms are small. There's only room for two twin beds. And so I just... I can't strip down to like <laughs> nothing because I have a roommate with me. So I have to like go bare minimum on bedding. I'm gonna throw that laundry in really quick. I have a lot more to do. How much time do I have? Oh crap. I have to go soon. And I'm not anywhere close to my to-do list being done. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta put you guys down. Sometimes you guys distract me from getting things done. There's no light. See you in a second. We went to urgent care and they cannot take off ingrown toenails. So they gave her an antibiotic, which we're on our way to go get. Look at that, it's so And, oh, did? Referral to a podiatrist who has to take off the nail, the ingrown nail. They don't do it at urgent care. Yeah. And we'll show you what we got now. Abby as we were heading to urgent care and on our way to urgent care Abby's like well I mean we are going by Krispy Kreme so I think we need to go and see if they have Halloween donuts so that's what we had just done now we're gonna head to Target to get her prescription are you satisfied with the donuts we were able to get Abby that one fell in. oh the eyeball did because for some reason they did it where the, it has a hole in the center so the eye fell through. Oh. why would you put the eyeball in the middle when there's already a hole there. Right. I should have just made that like a cream filled donut yeah. where there's like no Except hole. this one's already cream filled. Like that one right there. This one's cream filled. I don't think they wanted to make all of them cream filled. That's true. Here's so, they are so addicted. It's ridiculous, Ashley. You wanna see the Halloween donuts? Oh, those are cool. So which ones do you like? Are the maple bars? The maple bar is yours. Happy birthday. Oh, I so, you like those too. I was gonna get these yesterday, but it was such a hard day. That's mine and that's fine. Ashley, are... Chelsea, and Abby have a this sprinkle. This is mine, and this is mine. This one is mine. Because it has no sprinkles. Right, say thank you. Thank you. That's... Ah, 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 it's cream filled. No, 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 we had to have dinner first. Oh, and it's also No, no, no! You can't have no. donuts all. No, no, no! What? Jason, it is, no, it's dinner time. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's dinner time for donuts. No, no. All right, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's eight o'clock. I just barely sat down for the first, well, I was sitting down in my room talking to someone on the phone. Um, but my girls, <laughs> this is when I get to capture them when they're acting crazy at night. <laughs> so I have to just say this one, shh, you have sisters that are trying to go to sleep. You gotta be quiet. Shh. You're going to put them back to bed if you're not quiet. Okay. So first of all, Abby, so first of all, we're, we're sitting here talking, and um, then they both admitted that their friends are, like, watch my videos. <laughs> and 
And Abby has a friend who's like addicted to watching it. And so she'll go to school and she'll be like, Abby, remember that one time when you did this and that? And she's like, how do you know about that? And she's like, because I watch your videos. <laughs> anyway, I think it's funny. And it's totally fine because nothing I do embarrasses them. Maybe I do. Maybe I embarrass them. I just embarrass them. No. Abby's on the floor. Come here. Come here. Come here. So I'm watching Survivor. And the, the, it's episode two. And it's literally called YOLO something something. And I was like, oh, YOLO. That stands for something. I forgot what it is. And the girls were like, it does not stand for anything. You're not cool. You're an adult. It doesn't stand for everything. You can't say lit. You can't say, what was another word I can't say? Kaylee said one yesterday. You can't say these words. YOLO is not a thing. And so I, I looked it up on Surrey and it, it, it totally is. I said it on Surrey. They're making fun of me. I said it on Surrey. Stop. Stop. Abby's going to pee your pants. Yes, Abby's going to pee your pants. I should show you guys more, but you're like too far away from me. Anyway, they made fun of me because, and then I made fun of them that I knew a teenage terminology and they didn't. So, I'm going to end tonight because I'm exhausted and I still have a bunch of crap to do. And I got to get these girls calmed down. So, <laughs> they're making fun of me. Take care, guys. We and guess what? YOLO. We, we never say YOLO. I know you don't say YOLO. I've never heard a kid ever say it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. And this is one of the last four days that you're going to see these braces. So, I'm super excited. Take care, guys. Night.